Today we are going to create this simple logo animation using Blender and Eevee. First, I converted this logo to SVG format. Black logo on white background usually gives better result when converting. Now, go to Blender and import the SVG file. Make sure you enable the SVG import add-on. It will import your logo as curve objects. Join them and scale up. In the curve settings, add some extrude and give it a really small bevel. Now for the material, you can use a metal surface texture to create imperfections. Use the object texture coordinates and set the texture projection type to box and give some plane values to blur the scenes. Add some small normal details and here I also mix them with a noise texture. Now duplicate the lion logo and right click and convert it to mesh. In the edit menu, use Alt S to scale this up along the normals. Now scale this down along the Y axis. Assign the previous material. Create a new copy of it and change its color. Now add an empty and parent these two objects to it. Add a camera, clear its rotation and rotate it minus 90 degrees on X axis and place it appropriately. I changed the focal length to 24 mm. Now let's animate the empty's location and rotation to make it look like it's coming from behind the camera. Change the clipping start to a lower value to reduce the clipping when the logo is close to the camera. In the graph editor, change the beginning of the curve to start a little faster and bring the end keyframe forward. In that way, the logo will finish its rotation animation earlier than its location animation. Speed up the beginning of the location keyframe too. For the lighting, add an area light, rotate it to face the camera and position it behind the logo. Change the shape to disk and enable contact shadows. Change the color. Add a cube and delete its principal BSDF and add a principal volume BSDF to its volume. Now play with the density and the strength of the light to get a better result. Make sure to enable volumetric shadows. Increase the resolution of the volume and change its mapping. Now add more lights to the scene and position them appropriately. Here I use spotlight to light the logo from above and below. Add another spotlight to light the logo halfway through its animation. I also animated the rotation of the lights a little bit. Add another cube, scale it up, add a new particle system and change the source to volume. Disable the emitter from the render and viewport. Change the frame start and end value to almost the same number so that all the particles will appear at the beginning of the animation. Increase the lifetime to fit the animation length. Reduce the gravity and give a small velocity. Use an icosphere as the render object and scale it down. Increase the scale randomness. For the icosphere material, use objects info's random output as the factor for a color ramp. Create three different colors and use it as the emission color. Increase the emission strength. Now change the colors to match the scene. Now select the camera and Check depth of field and select the empty as the focus object and set the f-stop to a lower number. You can play with the aperture settings to get different bokeh effects. Now tweak the particle number C for better results. Let's add a text to the animation. Place it, change the font and type your text. Give it an extrude and depth like our logo and also a material. Animate its character spacing and rotation. Enable motion blur. And also enable the bloom and volume light passes. Render a frame and go to compositing workspace. Use two copies of the filter glare node to add some glare to the render. Set the mix to one 
and size to 7 in the first copy and in the second copy set the mix to 0 and increase the threshold and size to get a better looking glare. And now mix them using a mix node and set the blend type to add. Use bloom pass through an exposure node to add more glow to the render. Here I also used volume direct but later I actually deleted that node. Then use RGB curve for some color grading, ellipse mask for some vignette and lens distortion for some distortion and dispersion. Then used a box mask to add black bars. Position of the logo didn't feel right so I changed it and rendered again. Checked a few frames of the animation and decided to animate the f-stop value a little bit. With some sound design, we can have our final logo animation. That's it. That's it for this simple log animation made using Blender and EV. So if you learn anything, that's great. I mean, that's what we like to do. We not only create stuff, we let you create with us. Hit that like button, comment your thoughts below and don't forget to subscribe to HelloFX Learn so you won't miss out for the next video drops. So until next time, 